Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to digitize your worksheets and turn them into interactive activities for your students using a free website called TeacherMade. One of the questions that I get asked by a lot of educators is how to take a worksheet that's either in a PDF file or is in a JPEG and how to take that and turn it into a digital worksheet that students can work on. Back in May, I created a video showing you how to do that using Google Slides. But since then, I have found a website called TeacherMade, which absolutely blows Google Slides out of the water in terms of digitizing activities. So today, I want to show you how you can use this free resource. Now, from the main page, you'll see there are lots of different options at the top. Uh, but one of the things I want to point out right from the beginning is that they vow that this will stay free even after COVID is gone, which I love because I know a lot of teachers started using things in the spring um, because a lot of tech companies were advertising free usage, and then come this fall, they've started charging again, so teachers are scrambling around. Uh, this is a website that you'll be able to use even when COVID is gone. So let's start by going to sign up now, and you can either register with a Google account, or you can put in your email address and then create a password. I'm just gonna log in with my Google. So now that I've created an account, you can begin by clicking on Get Started. And then you can put in a description, which is just a few words about the content. So I'll just say worksheet for video. And now you have to select a background. So your background is going to be the worksheet that you want to use. And all you have to do is drag and drop a file here or click to choose one from your computer. And it tells you that you can use JPEG, ping files, GIFs, PDFs, or doc files. So let's go through and let's say that I've got a... PDF that I want to use. So this is one that I found online. I'm going to download this. So I just saved that. Now I'm going to just click and drag this up to right here. And now you'll see that this PDF has two pages. And what I love about TeacherMade is that you don't have to try and go to find a different website that will allow you to delete pages from PDFs because this second page here happens to be an answer key. So if I don't want to select the answers, all I have to do is click on it. It deselects it and it just has my actual worksheet selected. Now I can go to create worksheet and it will just have the one page that I want. So my answer key isn't included in here. And that is a huge time saver and something that you're not able to do with Google Slides or other programs. So once I have the file that I wanna use, and I will show you how to do this a couple other ways um, with either JPEGs or other files. But for now, let me just show you some of the features that TeacherMade offers. So let's start here and let me just show you what this looks like. So if I wanted to add in, you know, 22 plus 21, I can select short answer. I can create a text box. I can double click on it. And again, you'll see it asks me how many points is this worth and to list the correct answer. So I'll put 43. Now, if there's more than one answer, you could add in a couple different ones. And then you can say if it was um, case sensitive, so if the kids were typing something in, you can say answers must match the case, so upper and lower case to be correct. So if you are working on capitalization, you can select that little box and it will make sure that the right letters are capitalized. So let's save changes and you'll see that now there's a text box here with the correct answer in it. Uh, let me just show you the other types of questions. So you could do a drop down. So if you wanted to do like a multiple choice, you could put that in here. So let's click on that. And so I could put for the choices six, seven, eight, and you can do a whole bunch here. You can shuffle the order and then you select the correct answer. So in this case, I want seven. So I'll click on the little circle there and select save changes. I can select open answer. So this is like an open ended uh, response. Again, so if you click on that, it just allows the students to be able to type in there or you can start your own uh, text there. So you could say the answer to this question is, there is an option to do matching. Now this worksheet that I'm using doesn't lend itself to that. 
But let me just show you how that works just in case you wanted to use it. So let's say I want to take this 20 and I wanted to match it to say this 20. I click on that and then I just hold down the shift button and you'll see that it makes that line. So that would be the correct answer. Again, I could make another box here and I'll show you what that looks like for the students. But the way you connect the answers is just hold down the shift with the boxes selected and then it will make that line to the correct answer. Uh, let me just keep showing you some of these other options you have. You have true or false. So you can do true, false, TF, yes, no, or YN. Let's just do a true, false. Um, so, you know, 20 plus 13, and you could say true or false. And again, that's just from the teacher side. You select which one is true or false. Um, there's also multiple choice. So if you want to say four choices, you'll see that it creates four different circles. And again, as the teacher setting this up, you would select the dot that you want the correct answer to be. And again, this worksheet doesn't really lend itself to all of these, um, but it's showing you the different options that you have using TeacherMade. In addition to the multiple choice, you can also do check boxes, which would work the same way as the dots. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like. And you can make them either go horizontally or vertically. And just like with the other ones, you just select the box that you want the students to check. And this is getting a little bit messy, but again, I just want to show you all the different choices you have. There's a hot spot. So this would be where you could tell the students to click um, on a certain place. So let's say you had a map, you could say like click on Florida and then, or you would click on the spot that you'd want the students to select. And then they would have to click on that for there to be a correct answer. You can insert your own text. So if you want to insert your own text box, you could do that. You can insert your own images and then you can erase anything at any point. So lots of different options here. Again, this looks a little messy, but I just wanted to show you all the different things that TeacherMade can do. Uh, let me show you the preview of this. You'll see my drop down box here. Three plus four, seven. So this was my short answer. And you'll see that it says in here the answer to this. And the students could continue writing that. So they would write, you know, the answer to this is 34. Uh, you'll see the matching. And you'll see what happens when you go over the box is I can connect this to either of these numbers. So if I connect it like that. The teacher will know that that's the match that I want. Uh, you'll see the true false that I created. Um, there's the hot spot. These are the checkpoints that I made. And then this was just a text box that a teacher can type things in. So let's go back and let's say that I went through this and the worksheet looks exactly as I want. I can check my answers. And you'll see that I have the correct answers here. So let's reset and let's say I got one of these wrong. So let's say that was six and I go to check my answers. It will tell me that that was wrong. And this is important because uh, at the end, you want this to be able to grade your students work automatically. Uh, so let's click on the X out of here and let's say we are done. So we're going to go back to file and then close. And now we can create an assignment. Now, again, you can preview it if you want to take a look at it again, but let's create an assignment. And what I love is that you can have students either use their Google account to sign in. Uh, they can use their name or ID. So being a Google district that I work in, I would love for them to be able to just get this. I can put it in my Google classroom and then they can answer it. So uh, I'm going to select using a Google account. Uh, you can allow the students to be able to see the score as soon as they submit the work. So you can show them the score only, the score and their answers, or the score and the correct answers. They can display the score uh, by either the points they earned, the points they earned out of points possible, the points earned out of points possible, with the score percentage, or just the score percentage. We'll do score percentage. And then you can hide the toolbars from the student. Let's create an assignment. And again, very easy to use, um, especially for Google Classroom. 
I have a URL here that I can either send to students via email or that I can post somewhere, or I can just go right to share to Google Classroom. Then you'll see if I click on share to Google Classroom, it brings me into new assignment. So I can change the title. I can change the instructions, uh, but very, very nicely. It puts the attachment right at the bottom there. So all I actually have to do is go up top to where it says assign. I can assign it once I pick a due date um, and, and you know add any other features in here. And then my students will have that. Let me show you what it looks like once a student has actually completed the work. So this is the screen uh, from the student's account. So I just want to show you what that looked like. Um, so I'll do 43. Let me do one that's wrong. Um, you know, let's drag this to this. We'll say this one's correct. We'll say true. Uh, we'll click on the hotspot. We'll click one of these boxes wrong. And now the student, when they're done, can just click I'm done. And you'll see again that there is uh, options for them to add in their own text box. So if they wanted to write in a note to the teacher or write in whatever they wanted, um, they can type something in there. They can also annotate with different shapes or lines. They can highlight things. They can scribble. They can change colors. And then they can change the weight of different lines. So once they're done, they can click I'm done. Uh, it says it hasn't been completed. Are you sure you want to submit the worksheet? We're going to say yes, just so you can see what it looks like from the teacher perspective. So now back from my main page on TeacherMade, uh, you'll see my worksheet for the video, worksheet one. And when I click on that, it will have all the students that you assign this to and the score if you've made it so that you can automatically grade it. And you'll see on my test one, I scored a 66.67. And if I click on that, it will show you the ones that I got correct and incorrect, as well as the annotations that I made. So you'll see the incorrect answers have that red box around it. The correct answers have the green. And then it allows me to comment so I can leave comments for the students. Uh, and then I can return to the students with the comments. And then I, again, I can make it so that they can see the correct answer, their answers, uh, the score. And then you can change the teacher score if you want to change the percentage here. Um, and then return to student. And again, if you make a mistake, you can undo the return. You can print them out if you'd like. Uh, if you had other students that had submitted their work, you can just click in between them. Uh, and that's it. It's very easy to use. Like I said, very user-friendly. There's a lot of options. And one of the things that I'm very excited for is that they said uh, you'll be able to load directly from Google Classroom coming soon, which I think is very exciting. I did just want to show you one more thing because I showed you how to take a PDF and put that in, but you can use anything else. So let's just say I had this worksheet that I wanted to use. I'm going to save this as an image. I can click and drag that into background and you'll see it puts it right in there for me and then create worksheet. Now, one of the things that I think is really great about this is if you had a worksheet that you've been using and you really want to use it, but you don't have it in a digital format, you could just use your camera on your cell phone, take a picture of it and you could upload that. Or you could take a Microsoft Word document and upload that as well. Uh, you can take screenshots of anything that you've used and just upload that. So it's very easy to use. So if you were going to use a worksheet like this, you could create a text box for their name. You could create this drop down with the circles and then try to match them up. So just like that. So I'll show you how to use the matching here because this bottom activity is perfect for that. So I could create a box around each word. And then I could create a box around the answers. And then again, just with two boxes clicked, you can just hit shift and it will connect those two. And then you just keep going through and adding in boxes. And then you just keep making boxes around each word. And then when you had the right ones, click on the two boxes, hold down shift, and it will make a line between them. So not only does TeacherMade make it very easy to digitize your existing worksheets or create editable files from PDFs or JPEGs that you find online, 
but the fact that there's an auto grading function and it's so easy to upload to Google Classroom makes this a huge time saver for teachers. Uh, if you're using TeacherMade, please let me know in the comments section below how you like it, uh, how your students, other teachers, parents, how they all like it as well. Or if you need some help, please feel free to reach out in the comments section below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada or on Facebook at facebook.com slash The Ed Tech Show. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please take a second, click on that subscribe button and then click on the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time there's a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.